no playoff experience or very little playoff experience. So you kind of take the punch of Golden State but then respond. But not only respond, respond in a way with a level of maturity that becomes this young team. It's the reason why they're number three in the West. They do all the little things well. Give a lot of credit to Mike Brown for his passion, for his teaching. But those young men got it done. Let's see what's in store for game two. 126-123 final in game one. They trailed by 10 points in the third quarter, came back to get the W against Golden State. So, changes for Steve Kerr? Yes, there will be one in the starting lineup. In fact, Andrew Wiggins came off the bench for the first time in his career the other night. Wiggins is back in the starting lineup. He missed the last 25 games of the regular season for the personal matter. Expecting him to see a lot of time against De'Aaron Fox. They couldn't stop Fox in the second half. He finished with 38 points to lead. Sacramento. Our officiating crew tonight, Zach Zarba, Courtney Kirkland, Janavitas Petritus. It is game number two in this first round series. Kings ended the longest postseason drought in North American pro sports, and they did it in style with a game one victory. We're underway here in game two. What does Golden State have up its sleeve? Well, I think the start, looking to attack the Sacramento team's game in the paint. Green put it near the rim, and Herter steps in for the takeaway. Try the handoff. Steve Kerr was actually satisfied with what they did defensively against those handoffs in game one. So bonus right to the top. Quick decision, very confident. The two things that Mike Brown expected from Demonis Sabonis in this game struggled finishing at the rim, but not that time with the left hand right inside. Sabonis so went five of 17 in game one. Curry answers from the corner. The non-Curry minute, something we'll keep an eye on. They had a tough time when Curry was on the bench, but Kerr said it really wasn't the fact that Curry wasn't on the floor. It was the fact that they couldn't defensive rebound. Fox in and out. Three key offensive rebounds during that stretch that really hurt the Warriors when Kerr went back and looked at the tape. Looney tried to pass it inside instead. It's intercepted ahead. Two early turnovers for the Warriors. Keep in mind, 15 turnovers in the last game resulted in 16 points, and they have a habit of being loose with the basketball. Thompson, bullseye, it's a three. And when you do that, you eliminate those turnovers that are not caused by the defense. You get more shots as a, at the rim. Barnes, former Warrior, the step back three off the rim. Leaks out to Wiggins as Curry ended up on his backside. Now it's four on five. Thompson, extra feet underneath. And Looney had it denied. Well, you think about this, the turnover in transition, your defense is not set. Sacramento, because of that, 98 shots compared to 90 last game. That's eight more shot attempts at the field, at the, at the basket. Let's see if that holds true in this game. What a seal on the inside. It's not going to count for Wiggins. A foul was called before the release. He had his way on the interior with Murray. And it's going to be the rookie Keegan Murray picking up the personal. And right here just got caught right behind. A very quick hitting play to get Wiggins inside. Green defended by Barnes, former teammate. Thompson with six to shoot. Thompson deflected by Barnes. Golden State turnover early. And two of those turnovers came off deflections by the active hands of the Kings. Barnes, the jumper, short. Rebound to Looney. In game one, Looney, eight points, nine rebounds. Golden State went 16 of 50 from three-point territory. Looney tried to bang it in there and follows it, but a push inside. Zach Zarba with the call. Offensive foul on Looney. 
Well, you think about that, the 53, I mean, three-point shots. Okay, you missed 34. I think Steve Kerr's message to the team was that, one, quick shots are going to hurt us, but two, when we run our pitch and roll, we're able to pull some bonus out of the key. That means that you have smaller players inside protecting the paint. Attack the paint. 5-4 lead for the Warriors. Murray against Thompson. Shot clock is down to eight. See a good recovery here by Steph. See how he played on the right hand side, tried to avoid contact, but still get a piece of the ball. And right now, did he get a piece of the hand at the end? Is what Mike Brown and the coaching staff are arguing. Well, they just showed it on the big screen here at Golden One Center, and you know what the fans' reaction was. We're going to agree with you. Fox misses on a three ball. Sacramento opens up two of seven from the field. the turnover to get in transition able to score. Orange on the triple drive. Out of bounds. Last touch by Golden State. Well, you think about this right now. Eight points for Sacramento all off of turnovers. And just too loose right now. Golden State with their focus and concentration when they have the ball offensively. Warriors have not trailed 0-2 in a playoff series since 2007. Second round against Utah. Fox locked it up. Tested rebound for Looney. And that's the shot that Steve Kerr will live with early. Go under the screen for De'Aaron Fox to have to make some three-point shots. Beautiful pass. Beautiful two-man game with Steph and also Draymond Green. So the Warriors are four. They had a great look by Curry. 9-8 Golden State. Barnes. Two strong. Rebound controlled by the Warriors as Looney taps it over to Thompson. run for the Warriors. Fox defended by Wiggins. Where's that length? And it's going to go the other way. We get our first time out with Golden State up for the 2023 NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. 